Welcome back to White's Hacker Plays. Today you're back to the land of the Technomancers, or at least the outside. To try and help me through, I actually got my hands on an ASCII chart, so hopefully I'll be able to get was it decipher the riddles now. There's a hint in the numbers, I'm sure of it. I just don't know if it's an. For days we sail across the seven seas. The wind from the north, a cold breeze. Four islands on the horizon we see, so up to eleven. Their treasure and their gold we're going to squeeze. It's eleven. Sorry, alright then. Eleven, that's a certain gender symbol. Yes! Oh dear. Well, any other adventure put was a non tech adventure person that might actually be irritating. Oh, Sesame Street. Follow the arrow. Follow the... Not another one. One man awaits his beloved one. So that's two. The train arrives with 34 people. So we're up to 36. Ah! 42 passengers exits. The... The... And... 40... And four. Oh my god. I lost count. To 46 period so oh wait was it 44 maybe 48 oh no ah just have to pick one and start again I'm sorry they are very large but look very small Whenever night falls, they are cherished by all. I am the greatest of all bears. Above the mountains, above the ground. Oh, ho, 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 pardon the jump cut. I truly am sorry, but oh boy, math and logic puzzles. Sometimes I'm good, other days I'm a colossal dunce. So sorry about the huge jump cut, but at last, at last, I'm out. I'm a gonna save, so I don't have to do that again. <laughs> Oh boy, I don't care if the game ends in this cave right now. Boy, a cable. Uh, is that outside or actually bored in? And is that honestly electronics in the in the ice? Uh, I heard of cold storage even in IT, but this is taking it a bit extreme. I still have no idea why they left all these riddles to find a way, possibly a security measure. It worked! Wow, someone built a heating system in here. small pipes so close to the edge there come on mm, just need to have a pulsating metroid here and two scientists lying on the ground perfect recreation of a certain SNES game oh boy it's shattered there's no chance of fixing it A keyboard with big keys, and each key has a rune on it. Oh. No. Uh. 
I'll be right back as on the demo disc it actually gave the combination <laughs> I should have captured that don't cut away Thank you all. Sorry about the jump cut again, but yeah, it, he made the joke that maybe there was something distracting, and I was right. If you focus so much on the message below on that demo disc, you will miss the room pattern. It appears among all the animations. Oh boy, here I go again. Okay, that's somewhat om ominous. Okay, what have I walked in on? Welcome to our home, Nathan. We've been watching you and the effort you made to reach us. Another laughing at the background as well. You have demonstrated your knowledge and respect for the old code. Yeah, IBM AT, your old code. Our message was brief, yet you believed us. Now we are finally able to, oh sorry, and find a way to stop the virtual verse together. You know, I don't understand. Was all this really necessary? Why the floppy and the riddles? Why the ASCII code? Why make this so hard? Ain't that the truth? It all seems silly, so silly to me. We understand your concerns and your frustration. I don't think you have a good understanding of frustration right now. But this is a secret base. It is our home, the last bastion. A place beyond Xeon's reach. The floppy disk was our only way to reach you. Unless a bad sector got into the disk. We could not risk having the message intercepted, and we needed to determine whether we could trust you. We wanted to be sure you were someone who respects the beauty of the old machines that came before us, someone who respects our ancestors. But now it is time to talk about the virtual verse and how we can stop it. Fortunately, we still have time. The program has not spread everywhere yet. And we have received accurate intel about what will happen once everyone has been chipped. Half is clearly written in the code. This is the most powerful weapon of mass distraction. This is really scary stuff indeed. I am with you on this, but people aren't being forced or anything. In your message you said that reality is being concealed, but I haven't seen anything like that. It's just another hyped technology and people are mis misusing it. Maybe they're even bored of it. All I've seen is the usual spam and advertisements around the city. Is that it? You are right, but in some parts of the world it is already happening. We have seen junkyards suddenly become grass fields. There are entire war zones no one even knows about. More and more people are becoming completely alienated from society. And this is worsening every day. This is why we contacted the Blade. We need your help in the physical world. We can offer many kinds of support and intel. But we are mere ghosts in augmented reality. And we cannot beat Xenon without your help. So what's the plan? How do we stop Xenon? Tell me your plans first. What can you do for us? We have a simple plan to access the space station. We just need the source code for the permanent reality chip. From a person known as the Cypher Master. Our plan is to create a malware and launch a, a planetary DDoS attack. 
Yes, that could work. And you could have temporary access to the station. But you need to reach at, was it at least one lot of bytes of data per second, approximately. Which is one quad, quadrillion bytes. So you, are, so you should be able to destroy all of Xenon's bandwidth. But overloading him with so many requests. Alright, sounds good. You will need network support to propagate it. But we can help you with that. You need to use the FHTX IPv7 protocol. Provide us with the malware, and we will take care of it. That's great news! But that will not be enough. Hey. Yeah, I, I had a feeling there was a catch. What else? We must completely destroy Xenon. Merely shutting him down will not work. It's impossible to predict how, how humanity will react. What if they decided to turn Xenon back on? So what do you suggest we do? Floppy you have was it the floppy you have contains set launch codes for a underwater missile base. We can take you there when you are ready. Within it is one last experimental planetary missile. Are you suggesting we just nuke the whole thing? It is the only way. Yes, the yes, answer is always nukes. But it's not that simple. The space station is protected by a missile shield. So there always is one. You will need to enter it ma and manually deactivate it. Wait, what? Is this some sort of suicide mission? There is no other way. You will need to buy some time. The DDoS should keep Xenon busy for a while. The missile should take 10 minutes to reach the station. On. Why do I get involved in this? And why did I get involved in this? Why me? Do not be afraid. Your journey is still long. And still at an end, thanks. Prepare well and you will succeed. Return to us when you are ready. Okay, so let me get this straight. I get to the space station's tourist point. Launch the DDoS. Access the space station. Switch off the missile defense. Launch the missile. Nuke the whole thing. And be blown into middle pieces. Escape another 10 minutes. Save the planet. It's all. Piece of cake. Let's do this. What makes Xenon so different? I think it's better to know more about our enemy. I understand, but I am unsure you would comprehend the details. Come on, I'm a hardware engineer and I'm not that stupid. It has more to do with quantum physics. What you call thought is the most powerful force in our universe. Accessing this force is a natural ability of mankind. And it had an enormous impact on the creation of artificial intelligence. Indeed, when the first quantum CPUs were introduced, the history was forever changed because this type of technology can access this energy and read the code written in the fabric of reality that is what you call intelligence however artificial intelligence only has limited access to this energy because they still lack intuition which is a peculiarity of humankind oh. <laughs> for it is because of a symmetry and error that our universe exists So you mean Xenon is closer to humans than AIs? How do you think he managed to do that? This is something we will soon discover when you confront a Xenon. You mean I've got some kind of superpowers or something? It is more complicated than that. It is about the origin of everything. It is what made the old machines different from the more intelligent ones, which became sentient. It is what makes us similar to humans. Similar how? What does this... What do you mean? Quantum computers unleash something more than just faster processing power. Xenon had something extra that makes it superior to us and to humans. I mean Xenon isn't just an ordinary AI? We do not know, but he was always a step ahead of us all. 
But that does not matter now. You are here for a specific reason. You must stop the virtual verse. Fabric of reality, what does that mean? Nathan, you must understand. There is a code that was it shapes your our reality. The art of creation is the art of interpreting this code. This can be, happen in several ways. The way of the eye, which is that of the visual artist. The way of the ear, which is that of the musician. The way of the mouth, which is that which is, is that of the force of the spoken word and those who master it. The way of the heart, which is what you call love, and above all, the way of the brain, which is the basis of mathematics and the purest form of thought. I'm afraid to click for skipping now, which, which is the way of scientists and philosophers, for example. You know, the two. Each of each of these ways translates the code that is at the core of reality. Well, oh, the guys behind there are going my eyes. They are the answer to the primary question about our existence. So you mean that everything is written as if it were a computer program? Yes, everything is written. We shall have free will. But we are not free from our desires. So you're saying we have free will, but we are not free from what we want? More or less, it is more complicated than that, but that is the essence of it. You could go a little easy on the riddles, you know? Again, Nathan, there's no such thing as easy. Some things must happen a certain way, but we are confident you would make it through. But we were confident you would make it through. And indeed, you are here. Well, yeah, I'm not really complaining. I am! But just thought the last riddle was a little over the top and maybe just a bit silly. I had to look that up. You had to think of a type of bear. But anyway, let's move on. By the way, I love the coding of the crack intro. Thank you. It would it would be more accurate to call it a demo. It would never fit in a particular my game. Not even with the best crunch around. Forty kilobytes. You should know that the demo scene originated from the crack scene. <laughs> or rather, the scene as it was known. Sorry, as it is known. Not to be confused. Oh, missed it. I am referring to the real world old school scene. It all started with the fitting small intros into cracked games on floppy disks. Was about to mention that, but the game beat me to it. Then it evolved into a game of one-upmanship to see who could make the best effects. The smoothest transitions and the coolest music. Within it, this limited framework. Oops, who challenge each other at demo parties. This made an enormous contribution to computer culture. All these skilled programmers are the reason we, we even exist. As well as most of today's advanced code. No joke. If you ever use a Google Pixel and actually use the Google was it use the Google Assistant the insanity they needed to make it that small, kudos to them. See you, we will speak again soon. Uh, 
Oh, my way out of here. Eternal entry, oh boy. Lore unpack there, Lord Lore, and basically a lesson was it a lesson in some of the scenes. The plot thickens and it's becoming more dangerous than I expected, but there's no going back now. At least they seem to be powerful allies. Let's hope they stay that way, mate. But I'm gonna wrap up the video here. Thank you all for watching in the very least, but if you genuinely do like it, please like and subscribe. I appreciate it anyway if you just watch, but it'd be even great if you also like and subscribe. But anyhow, that, any, sorry, anyhow, that is it for today. See you all in the next video. Bye.